Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. And I have got a special edition today. We are going to discuss copper as well. So in my previous video, we haven't never discussed copper. But in today's video, we are going to look at copper. And I'm pretty sure that we are uh, looking ahead for some very good trading opportunities in copper. So we'll discuss copper as well in today's edition. In addition to copper, we are going to discuss our regular stuff that involves gold and silver. We look at some uh, one junior miner and one senior miner as well uh, for gold and silver. After that, we'll uh, look at the next section, which is uh, normally our forex section. Then we'll look at euro, British pound, and, and DXY, which is dollar index. After that, we'll look at the S&P 500 and see how the stock market is expected to go. Uh, I got a couple comments on Bitcoin, so we'll definitely look at Bitcoin as well. And in the very end, we are going to discuss copper. So I'm pretty sure I haven't left out anything. So we'll start with our um, gold and silver, and then we'll move on from the over here. Now, gold has uh, done interesting move, and that move is yet not complete. So, do not pay attention to the larger move, first of all, okay? Do not. First up, what you're looking right now is that uh, I'm going to label the larger wave soon, but I'm definitely looking for the completion of the structure. So, let's go have a look and what are you looking for on a smaller time frame let's go on have a look on a 15 minute chart maybe that will help you guys so we're looking for a correction to complete i'm expecting that the correction is a b and c and i'm expecting this is an internal a b and c so three wave structure three wave structure that should follow after the five wave structure as soon as the wave is complete we expect it to go up another about um, 90 or 100 dollars um, but it can push to further up as well we do not exactly show sure about the target it can definitely jump up another hundred dollars as well uh, it depends how the market actually how fast the market is at this point um, but we will know by um, by our wave count that where exactly the prices are going so i'm expecting that the correction is yet not complete then we are expecting uh, at least uh, about 80 to 90 80 to 100 dollar jump and then could actually also um, push it to another 200 dollar but we look at the prices closely so this is how I'm looking at gold. I believe that silver, we had some um, structural discussion last we were discussing and we were expecting for this correction uh, to go a bit lower. And I said that this was an important point for the prices to turn down. And if the prices were going to turn down, um, something like this, the price has gone up. It comes down and it goes up again. That would mean that silver has not completed the bottom and it's going to go further bottom. Let me have a look on a daily chart and maybe I can four hourly chart and we can maybe discuss it. Um, so we were expecting for, we had, at this point I told you guys that we're going to look for the wait for the completion of the structure. If the price is going to go something like this, and that would mean that the an, a larger trend is on the bear side. Um, but if we see a correction above this place area, which is a proper support zone we have completed we can see that would mean that we have actually created a bottom as well so we have now a correction confirming the bullish count in silver as well we, i was expecting a large bear market uh, and silver to run to around 10 ish dollar but that's not going to happen very poor reading i was expecting i'll show you guys a chart in future if you guys expected to see it did happen in in uh, one of the minor but i'm not going to discuss that right now so what we are looking at the larger time frame right now i believe that we have completed a wave one right over here and a wave two either the complete or is still going on means we can actually see the prices to go come up and come down a bit and stay in this range all right there's still a possibility uh, so we'll uh, put a question mark here uh, in our mind that there is a possibility that we can actually uh, see extension of wave two okay so we i can move it over here So I can move over here and keep in reminding us. Let me bring it closer. What's happening? On a smaller time frame, we are going to discuss the trading opportunity. Let me come back on the trading opportunity where the trading opportunity for next week we are looking at it. And that comes uh, that brings us to the this wave right now. So the the count right now is wave one and two, and we are going through with within wave three, and this is why we have a, seen a smaller pullback. So we are right right now going through an extended three wave. Um, and then after that, we'll look at a deeper correction a bit, a larger direction, a larger correction, I would say, not a deeper correction. And then price is expected to go push up in wave five. 
so here is the chart right now we have completed wave one and two wave three is still going on uh, and as soon as the smaller degree very smaller de degree correction is complete you're expecting for the prices to go up and complete three and then we'll expect uh, a larger or sizable correction that should actually correct wave three after that wave five right over here so this is the pattern that we are looking for we can definitely use the the pullback of 24 dollar to uh, 24 is dollar uh, to go long right over here any stop loss beyond that is not reasonable right now especially if you're trading on an in intraday time frame so i think this is a very reasonable time frame uh, and then you can trade this to, on the bullish side so this is for the next week we're expecting for the price of silver to go further up and gold to further go up as well new mount is at a very interesting position this is uh, i do understand that this is a tsx okay oh, sorry this is new york where is the tsx this is the tsx okay low we can discuss a new york version no worries a lot of people are um, probably looking at the so um, I told you guys in my previous analysis that we are expecting that there is a possibility for an ending diagonal in in this area okay so in this way when the ending diagonal complete a B and C is complete and we know uh, that gold is already trading on a, a strongly bullish way so let's have a look at a larger trade so my point was uh, that NEM Newmont is strong uh, fundamentally as well. They have made a huge purchase in Australia and they have uh, acquired uh, almost, I think, $12 billion worth of a firm, uh, a commodity from, uh, I mean, a miner, a very massive deal uh, for Newmont. So, and we are also making headlines that gold is going to push it higher and higher. While still we look at this miner, we are still in the range. And not only in the range, we are in the lower section of the range this year. We can go on a monthly time frame as well. And that'll show you where the where, what I'm talking about. So we are in the, this range right over here, and we are on the lower end of the range. So this is very beneficial uh, and a good entry point for to go long. So right, so the large time frame analysis is giving that we are expected to see prices further go up. Let's have a look on a um, daily time frame and then see where the prices are. I think that we have completed wave one right over here and hence a clear five wave structure from the bottom right over here. So we have clear one, two, three, four, and five wave structure. And this is where wave one becomes the, the blue one. And then we have an A, B, and C structure. The prices have come down all the way down. This is an ending diagonal. Now the way the ending diagonal happened as soon as the couple of possibilities. And one possibility is prices can actually sharply shoot up and find a correction and then move on from over here. Or they can actually be slow as well. So both possibilities are there. But I am at least, my least target for uh, new month um, on a New York uh, stock exchange is to prices to at least to go to $55 within a couple of months. I'm so I'm thinking at least two to three months. So this is pretty positive. And then if we can find a resistance, we can actually pull back a bit. All right. So I'm actually looking for this particular trade and I'm bullish. I'm, I do have uh, shares in New Moon and I'm expecting waiting for the prices to go up right over here. And I'll be taking uh, profits somewhere around close to the top. And then we'll limit for the next move. Uh, so the next one the junior miner that I am interested in is Osisco mining and the reason I have picked it is, is the, simply because it has been around uh, for almost 10 years I do not want to put money in a very new um, you know uh, let's have a look on a weekly time frame so I do not want to put uh, money just in a very new junior and they can actually go bankrupt and money can actually go hit the floor at exactly zero so and I believe that we have seen a larger wave one and a two. We have seen a lot of side wave movement, almost like going from 7, 2017 all the way to back to 2024. And we are also in the bottom range, bottom of the range. All right. So this is very useful. We are definitely going to go up right over here. With gold going up, we are not breaking this important support zone area. This has been positive. This has been very strong support. And I think that we are at the lower end, then it's a good buy. So I'm. I'm bullish. I do not have a lot of shares, but I have some shares in uh, Osisco as well. I'm wishing uh, for it to go on the bullish side as well. And that's with the gold miners. Let's have a look at our next section, and that is our um, Forex long term. Okay, we can definitely look at Forex and a quick move. We can we are going to quickly discuss it and move uh, forward sharply. Let's have a look on a daily time frame. I do believe that first of all that um, I do believe that we have seen actually a bottom in euro, and then we are in the very early stages of prices going up i wouldn't say very early stages we have spent quite a bit of time almost like a couple of years uh, so we had done almost two years of the prices going up let's have a look on a daily time frame and see where the prices are 
Now, I do believe that here is the five wave structure uh, that we have completed the five wave structure, display wave count, and then I also believe that this becomes wave one. We have completed two as well. So, uh, in this case, um, I'm expecting that wave two is just enough, just completion of. We were expecting for the prices to go this one right over here, but no, right in the mid. We have seen the prices behave differently so uh, that's the reason i come up with that wave two is completed right now and then wave one and two uh, is we have also smaller degree one and two completed let's have a look uh, how the the chart is looking let me go on four hourly maybe can you can see yeah here we go so we have this wave one completed as well and a b and c is also complete so another wave two is complete we are looking right now at a smaller degree wave one and two and right now we are looking for an extended wave three which is this black labeling right over here we have also seems to be completed smaller degree wave one and a smaller degree wave two is very close to the completion if not already completed and then we're expecting for the next on the bullish side so next week i'm expecting for euro to go long um, and then uh, i'm long on euro as well if i get a trade i'm definitely going to to be on the bullish side all right let's have a look at british pound we have almost identical pattern in uh your in british pound as well once again we have clear wave two completion of a smaller degree and exactly same wave count we have wave one and two this blue wave one completed and then we are waiting for the completion of and the extended wave three which is right over here within the extended wave three we have completed wave one and two and very close to the completion if it's already not completed and we are waiting for the prices to go long so i'm bullish on british pound a lot of you guys have probably noted that british pound is more strong um than euro itself so we are um definitely definitely uh, on the upside here in british pound now uh, since euro and british pound are bullish we have bearish count uh, for dollar index which is uh, exactly the larger pattern seems exactly the same we have smaller wave one and two and smaller wave one and two within the extended wave uh, this blue wave and we are very close to completion and we are expecting prices to go on the bearish side this goes exactly as we are looking at the pattern in gold and silver as well i mean gold and silver are going to be bullish euro and british pound are going to be bullish and us dollar itself is going to be bearish so enough of the, the forex let's have a look at the next section and that brings us to our um crypto we'll discuss our stocks market okay let's have a look at s p 500 and how the prices are doing now in my previous uh, analysis i told you guys that this uh, trend line is very very important a break of this trend line uh, which seem we are touching the trend line once again is very important let me have a look at the larger pattern if you haven't uh, seen the larger pattern and uh, the one that i'm looking at it and i'm thinking that we are going to see this pattern okay let's have a look at a uh, daily time frame okay there be, this is much sharper so the larger pattern that we are looking from this bottom is wave a and b let me have a look actually if i can help you out with a even a larger pattern so the even larger pattern that we have seen in this top right over here i'm looking right now as wave a or w and this is wave b or x and after that wave is complete we are looking for bearish price section on the further down within the wave b or within the wave x it seems that the structure is an a b and c which is a 535 five structure with the wave a being very short wave and b being three wave structure and wave c being a clearly a subdivisible five wave structure this is uh, uh, one of the basic structures that we used in Elliott wave analysis we seem to have completed wave one and two and we are very close to the completion of wave through wave three and therefore we are expecting for the prices to come down it could come down further and enter into the territory of wave one um, to make it uh, an uh, ending diagonal so keep that in mind it is not necessarily uh, because it's coming in the last section of the abc structure so it can become an ending diagonal keep that in mind because we haven't done the internal labeling um, properly and i normally stay away from the uh, discussing whether it's a clearly five wave structure or it's a zigzag structure that makes a difference between ending diagonal or a regular impulse wave so let's have a look on our hourly time frame and um, and I, after that structure, um, I drew this um, parallel line and I told you guys this is very, very important. A lot of choppy price action we are seeing. And the reason is we are getting close to the end of wave three. So a larger swing is expected on the bearish side. All right. Now, this is a very important structure. We are expecting a similar behavior in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency overall. We are expecting a larger swing on the bearish side in stock market and in crypto. All right. Let's have a look at 
no this is uh, once again the larger pattern i believe in dow john industrials and uh, us 100 which is nasdaq is going to be about the same we're expecting a larger thing on the very side okay let's have a look uh, let me do this save and then let's have a look at the next section that will be our crypto section now i have seen a couple of um mm, oh we already have a drop okay now i already have i have um i already have seen a couple of uh, uh notices uh, sorry comments on the price of bitcoin so i made a huge uh, mistake when we were dealing about uh, gold and i think the reason is because i was looking a little too far ahead uh, with a bit of data okay so probably we are making a similar mistake in bitcoin as well so as long as you say no the prices cannot become down to ten thousand maybe you know there is a possibility that i'm wrong in that analysis all right but one thing i think i'm wrong i'm right in is that we are looking at a five year structure from this bottom which is wave one and two and three and four we already have seen a pullback right over here okay so this pullback is going to be probably a bit lengthy or maybe the side wave structure is going to happen all right but the pullback is there anyway so wait for a corrective pattern to complete as soon as the corrective pattern is complete it will give you a definitely long uh, trading setup to go up on the bullish side all right so let's have a look on a, a four probably chart so there is the possibility of a side wave structure definitely we are looking for maybe a little more pull back down further over here and then go up and then come down right over here so we are definitely looking um, for this possibility we can also go for a little more waves than uh, we have seen right over here so as soon as the structure which uh, completes and we are going to look at um, stock market as well in parallel um, so this is also not confirmed that we are probably looking for maybe on the bearish um, side open on the market on monday all right so once again once the structure is complete we can look for the prices to go bullish this i agree with and i we're going to look for it and after that we'll discuss how the prices are going to be all right because this alone can really price push the prices uh, really um, on further toward close to ninety thousand dollars. All right, this on its own is a good news uh, for crypto. Let me have a look at Ethereum quickly. Okay, so we have now confirmed the pullback. Okay, right now we have confirmed pullback. We are also looking at, at Ethereum and Bitcoin, and let's have a look. I think Solana should have two, not that much. Okay, let's have a look at one more and let's have a look at matic okay okay there we go so we have pullbacks right over here however it seems that matic is completing no matic is also completing the same structure okay that is giving me one indication there is a possibility that we can actually see um, matic to go further up on the bullish run all right so there's a possibility that they one two three four and it seems because we've, uh, this one wave has gone into the territory of the previous wave that makes an ending diagonal. And my observation says in certain cases, this price can actually, when the structure is complete, this can actually push the prices to layer really top. So be really careful with that too. We'll be discussing that. And this is, I'm just um, going with the point of view. There is a possibility that we have, uh, are, we are going with the same structure as we have in bitcoin that necessarily is not the case so this is just a quick look maybe i'll have to make a separate video on crypto so now the the this was uh, i think uh, requested and asked by one of the uh, subscriber and i was going through the charts and like i should look at the chart before we can actually discuss the the metal itself which is copper i need to show you guys this chart because i do not um, I have found the larger chart and I have analyzed it on um, but on the trading view I couldn't find it so if you guys find a symbol or a provider which is we can get the whole history of the, the copper uh, almost like 70 80 years of data that would be very interesting I have already seen the chart though but I want to bring it on to the audience right over here mm, let's have a look on the weekly chart and I want to show you the larger chart here so the chart almost kind of looks similar to this chart that's why i'm showing you because uh, this is goes to all the way back to 2000 and it's even more data i think we have another 40 50 years of data that's on the record that we can use all right it's much kind of a sideways behavior 
before that and that's the reason i'm expecting that the the larger side wave structure completed kind of over here and then we are considering it a wave a and a wave b and then we are from this one we are going expecting to be a wave c the structure that we have seen uh, on a smaller time frame and that is uh, s p 500 that abc structure um, a smaller wave with A and then a larger B and then we have more extended uh, fifth wave sorry more extended wave C all right uh, I've noted this structure is very important uh, indication uh, pattern okay so I'm expecting a similar behavior in first quantum minerals and then this is a um, minor copper miner here in Canada so it's not a um, maybe it's not US uh, it's not maybe they don't have a symbol in US um, but I wanted to show you the larger chart so I'm expecting that we are going to see I'll come back discuss this chart again and I'm expecting we are probably looking at a similar chart uh, for copper as well so I'm bullish on copper right now here's the chart that I'm looking for so let me come up and uh, you draw this so I believe that we have completed wave one right over here and we have completed wave two right over here and we are going to in the initial stages of wave three which we shall put the prices up and that will be wave four and that will be wave five so while gold is going to uh, be in a almost bullish uh, territory for uh, somewhere around 2030 I believe that we have similar case in copper as well but definitely they are different markets so the timing is a little different and it does provide us a lot of trading opportunities so we have better trading opportunities because the, there's a bit of difference in the timing as well let me delete that and then we can also look at the smaller time frame analysis now look at this wave below i believe that we have completed wave one and let me bend so this believe I believe that we have completed small wave one and we are in the process of completion of wave two that should after that wave three four and wave five so that's an extended third wave okay let's have a look on a daily time frame and see if the chart um, is making some sense on a daily time frame so I believe that we this is the wave one we are talking about and this is an A a B and a C structure all right we are very close to the completion of wave B all right maybe a few days and then after that I'm, I'm expecting a reversal that should complete wave A B and C structure all right and after that when we see a bottom we shall actually wait for the prices to go up okay and therefore when the prices are right over here especially with silver wait for the prices uh, I mean especially with the my um, the metal itself wait for the jump up all right we can't see the penetration okay there is a one of the possibilities but when it's right over here wait for the prices to jump up a bit and then go long but this is for next few days we still have a lot of time uh, for that thing to happen I'm expecting that you're gonna go up double create a double top and turn on the bearish side let's have a look at the miner okay the miner that I've already sh shown you the chart which is first quantum minerals it's uh, on TSX which is Canadian exchange and we have a very interesting uh, trading setup and the interesting thing about this is that it has a lot of fluctuation so be really careful it's not like uh, you know a, a gold miner copper miners especially I've seen there's a lot of volatility a lot of volatility so we are definitely close to the lower range of uh, the, the support and we are bullish on it there's it's a simple market we are looking at an a b c structure all right and we are looking on the upside I'm considering this whole wave as wave a and this whole as wave b and I'm from this bottom expecting that we are actually looking for a five wave structure <clears throat> now since uh, um, the earlier five wave structure right over here that you're looking at is messy definitely the reason is because look at the correction okay the size of the correction is indicating that it's correcting the whole structure right over here okay and if you consider it as a simple zigzag structure then there is uh, some uh, problems let's say prices go all the way over here and then then we see a correction and then goes over here so that cannot be an ending diagonal then we're also very close to the bottom right over here so we cannot simply call it one two and one two as well which is all a uh, problem on its own <coughs> um, because we have a clear pullback right over here so that's the reason the struct the count is very messy in here 
okay i'm considering the top wave right over here and a correction and then wave three and a correction which is uh, you know entering into the territory of this but this is the top of wave one and hence a 5 wave structure and abc within abc structure the there seems to be uh, some data that we uh, i mean the pattern doesn't seem to be completed let me go on a two hourly chart so this is the wave b okay a b and within wave b we have a one and two and three and four we are very close to the completion of wave four as we have seen in copper itself that we are very close to the completion of the top and then we are expecting for the prices to pull back and complete wave five all right and maybe sharply move sharp movement than we are expecting that should be a very good buy level since and the reason I'm happy at looking at copper because gold is running definitely and silver running at a different timing. So we can actually, you know, when you're out of the market, you can actually trade copper as well. So it's interesting to see we have a bit more price analysis and then we are on the bearish side. I will not trade on the bearish side, okay? In case we are wrong, I do not want to get the stock money just for a smaller move. I'll wait for the structure to complete and that will be a very good time which is somewhere around seven dollar and fifty not that low i'm expecting maybe somewhere around seven dollar fifty a good time to go long all right wish you good luck with your trading i will keep a close eye on the stock market as well and the crypto wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye